Before we get started today, I have an announcement to make. We are currently, at the time of this recording, 370 subscribers. Please share this video. I'm hoping to get to 400 subs by the end of the year. And I have a poll on my Twitter, so go follow there. Right now, we have Dab for the first time, one more Fortnite stream, and Q&A are the only ones with votes, and then there's other a comic below with zero votes. So if you like any of those options, dab for the first time, one more Fortnite stream or Q&A, make sure you vote now. What is going on guys, welcome to Gums Videos. My name is indeed Kyle Cooper, and today I'll be talking about the Venom reviews. So. For the longest time, I've been saying that Venom was not going to work. Not in a haterish way, it's just because I was said, you can't have Venom without Spider-Man. But then, a couple weeks ago, actually, I think at this point, it was like two months ago, I started warming up to the idea. I was like, you know what? If they just do their own universe without Spider-Man, Spider-Man is never going to be involved, and... Venom is just like this anti-hero kind of character. I could see it working. Then I had a little optimism. Then they changed the rating from rated R to PG-13. And then like a week after that, they're like, oh yeah, the reason why we changed the rating is because, you know, who knows? Sometime we would like to have Spider-Man in these movies. That's not what I'm here to talk about. Then my faith went down. And then my faith went even lower when they said, basically, we're not gonna uh, let the review embargo be lifted until like two days before the movie's released. Pepe hands. That day was yesterday when they re uh, released the review embargo for certain people. Yikes. Venom is Catwoman level bad. I won't go that far, but yikes, that's tough, dude. With Tom Hardy's worst performance since This Means War, don't see the movie. To be fair, I didn't hate This Means War, but it was Tom Hardy's worst performance when it comes to acting. I'm fascinated with Venom. The cast seems to know that they're all in a darker superhero movie, except for Tom Hardy, who is basically remaking Jim Carrey's Liar Liar. I kind of loved watching this movie in a Rocky Horror type of way. At one point, Tom Hardy and Venom make out. Now listen, I don't even need to read anymore. There's two more, but I'm not even going to read them. You know why? This movie just literally fascinates me. The, it went from being like a rated R horror type of movie to Eddie Brock making out with Venom? What? And people always like to shit on Sony. I'm like, but listen, they, they have their ups and downs, but let's be honest, they've made some great Spider-Man movies. But it's shit like this that makes me want to take a shit and just throw it at them, like, because they deserve it. I could actually smell the studio interference. People are like, uh, Kyle, you're only saying that it's studio interference. Listen, I will bet money that within the next couple months that there are going to be some reports saying that Sony got involved. I already could tell they got involved. They're like, rated R this, rated R that, it's going to be a horror, and then all of a sudden, massive reshoots, which is alright to an extent, but when you use the word massive reshoots, then that's when like shit like Justice League happens, when they cut like 80% of the fucking movie, and then make Joss Whedon do another huge chunk of the movie, and then keep it down to two hours. Studio interference, I'm sensing that here. Wow! Sony! You just had to not interfere. Like, hey, director, guy who's passionate about Venom, make a good movie, make sure Spider-Man's not involved, good luck. But now all of a sudden they're like, let's make a cinematic universe, when they even haven't made one good movie yet. What the movie is done, you jackasses? Yeah, jackass. I would not be surprised if this movie comes in at a solid 30% on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm telling you that the fans, it's going to be probably like around 50, 60. I'm sensing that. But the critics, I tend to agree with more. I value more of the fans and what they think. But I tend to agree with more on the critic side. I had no faith in this movie. I thought it looked like shit from the beginning. Everyone made fun of me. Everyone's like, uh, oh, so much for a Spider-Man fan over here. Uh. Everyone's trying to tell me that the CGI looks good. Guess what? Some of the reviews tell me that the CGI looks like shit. 
I was not excited for this movie except for one brief window where I was like, ah, I could see how this could work. But they had a focus on the cinematic universe before it was even out. It sucks because I feel that now they realize we can't work without Spider-Man. Now they're going to take Spider-Man out of the MCU after Far From Home. And then they're going to reboot again. If they fucking reboot again, I'm actually going to have like no faith in any other Spider-Man movies. I'm probably, it's, it's going to be tough for me. I'm going to try not to support the new reboot if they do reboot. But I'm 90% sure that this bombs, that it's going to force Sony to take Spider-Man back. And I hope, I hope they come to their senses. They're like, hey... Or deal with uh, with Marvel's working out pretty well. Let's just stick with that. But I, no, one's Sony. That's not going to happen because they're a studio and they want money. So I have a Twitter, Instagram, Gumps underscore videos. Go follow me there for latest news and updates on my channel, guys. Make sure you, you subscribe to the channel, guys. Get me to 400 by the end of the year. And let's see what I have to do. Please don't make a dab. Bye-bye.